executive from California meets with the notorious WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, gaining new information regarding Russia and the 2016 election. One America's Leslie Morris has more on the information that may clear Russia of responsibility for that DNC email hack. California Representative Dana Rawbacher becomes the first American congressman to meet with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The two met during a three-hour meeting Wednesday at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London. According to Rawbacher, the only individuals privy to the private discussions with Assange were his attorney, human rights lawyer Jennifer Robinson, and Charles Johnson. Assange has taken asylum in the Ecuadorian Embassy since 2012 after facing sexual assault charges in Sweden. Johnson, a conservative journalist, arranged the meeting because the WikiLeaks chief hopes to strike a deal with the U.S. to avoid facing a number of charges related to espionage and theft of U.S. property. Assange reportedly provided more information on the 2016 DNC hack, in which a collection of emails leaked to and subsequently published by WikiLeaks suggested the party's leadership worked to sabotage candidate Bernie Sanders' presidential campaign. In a statement, Rawbacher said Assange emphatically stated that the Russians were not involved in the hacking or disclosure of those emails, a claim Assange has made in the past. We have said quite clearly that our source is not a member of any state, uh, including the Russian government. The representative from California gave little detail about what was discussed in the meeting. However, he said he plans to reveal more directly to President Trump when he returns to the states, including a request that the WikiLeaks organization be given a seat inside the White House press room. The information provided by Rawbacher could prove that Russia is in fact not responsible for what led to the DNC's embarrassing 2016 election. Leslie Morris, One American News.